Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, we're up to the point in the, that in most runs that I refer to as the fork. Two wins, one loss. From here, it's either going to go downhill into sudden death town, or it could go really well and just get a bunch of wins. And, you know, if I got two wins this video, four wins, one loss, that's a pretty damn good run, a good place to be. Whereas even one loss and not as good a place to be. Also, I find that by the time you get two wins, the matchmaking is much like, less likely to try and dump really weak opponents on you. I feel like it tries really hard to... F if you have... When you get that early loss and you haven't gotten your two wins yet, I feel like it tries really hard to find you some weak opponents. Especially if you have two losses and you don't have two wins yet. But, uh... Yeah, those guys are expensive. These guys are not. Okay. This is... Pretty good early game hand, which I should get lots of in this deck, but, uh... That guy's a dink. Um, do I just play him and hope my opponent doesn't have a mortal coil, or play him and hope my opponent doesn't have a mortal coil? I'm going to go this way, because if my opponent does have a mortal coil, then he'll have spent it on that, and then I can play him and he'll, like, stop this thing for me? I don't know. I'd probably, in that case, I would probably actually just end up bluegilling him, since man, it won't work out. He has a mortal coil? Really? There are not that, like, how high a priority is that card to pick, first off? Like, oh, that is just super, super annoying. Uh, I don't really want to get rushed down by that thing, but do I want to waste my bluegill on killing it? I guess so. It's worse if I don't. Tremendously annoying. As if he actually had the motor coil. Yeah, that's not good. Well, I guess my best counter to that would just be him. You get free 1-1s, one I'll get free cars. We go back and forth. Now, I could have played him and the Trog, which might have been smarter. Dark Peddler, a little bit scary. Gives him a one-cost card. Warlocks have some pretty damn good one-cost cards. What do you discard? Stupid weenies. All, all I can do is probably just make a yeti. Uh, that's a little concerning. I don't have any silences and stuff. Let me, not that I have a consecrate right now, but I'm... My opponent has some kind of plan for activating that. Whatever. Kill the thing that I can actually kill. And then play the big boy. You know what? He probably will just... He can give his egg plus four plus four, because he probably took Power Overwhelming as his card. Seal of Champions is going to be good at some point. I don't know what, right now how it's going to do for me. Ugh. That's all kinds of not good. Play the True Silver Champion. Kill that. It's going to give one of his other guys plus three plus three, though. That is miserably bad. Damn it. Wow, he he's got he's got me in a vice. This is there's no good can come from this. I don't have a taunt to protect him, so if I kill that and then the one one could kill it or you know, kinds of things. I think killing that right now is not gonna help me. I think I gotta make a big army. So I'm just gonna make an army. There's, there's no good way to do this. By killing that guy now, he has more guys this turn. But if I didn't kill him, then he could hit one of my he could hit my one one with it and get an, squeeze an extra one one out of it. 
Nothing, nothing is good though. This is all badness. I'm gonna have to kill that sentinel at some point. I don't know how I can arrange it to not be horrible for me though. He is such a good like arena card. Like I don't know how good, he, I don't know how worthwhile he is normally, but in the arena he is strong. Get them with like a shaman and the thing where you like kill a guy and he comes back. Wow, that was horrible. It's also an epic card. Like I wasn't expecting him to have that, but like, god damn it, that is bad. I am just gonna get murdered here. Wow. Can't even get anything good out. He, these guys would just get killed and accomplish nothing. Next turn I could do him or play him and grow him, but I gotta get the sword out and start killing things, which is gonna hurt. Reporting for duty for justice. No, I'm I'm actually just dead already. It's gonna be a slower death, but uh, I don't see how my deck can recover from this. Man. He's got all the discovery power. That egg's really bad. I kill the egg, it comes back just as big. I don't have enough defensive sort of stuff. He he outrushed the crap out of me. He reduces his attack to one, which is not enough. If I do that, then I can't do anything else. Oh, I'm so screwed. I think I do that anyway. I think it's worse if I don't. But if I get out more guys, like I could play him, make him a six-six, oh, have a one-one, kill something. But then I'm taking four, five, six. Um, this is revenue neutral, killing the two-two, the two-one. If I shrink that though, then I can't really do anything. So no, I'm better off doing this. I enjoy raiding. The sinking ship up, sinking ship over here though. Sudden death, here we come. Can my opponent kill me this turn? The answer is probably, but if not, next turn. At this point, lay on hands wouldn't even help me. I don't think, but it would stall for a, like it would be good. It would stall for a turn. The lay on hands or the guardian of kings. I needed to draw the guardian of kings last turn. That would have helped a little bit. But even that wouldn't be much. Ow. I guess that's a good sign because it means he's going to spend stuff killing that. Oh. Never mind. He's going to not lose anything on the board. That's just damage. He probably... He must have had lethal if he just dark bombed me. And, like, attacked me all out. But whatever. More or less irrelevant. What matters is... I am completely screwed. Reporting for duty. I don't uh, think there's any way I could have played that game to avoid this, like, horribleness. He had the Mortal Coil to stop my early roll, because otherwise, without the Mortal Coil, I probably could have, like, dominated his early gameplay. And, uh, yeah. After that, he just crushed me. That The Anubisath plus the egg was just so much badness. Okay, now we're sudden death, so to, to even come out with a decent run, i got to really win some games. It might try and give me another easy one here because I have two losses, but I don't think it's... Uh, certainly the effect is not as strong. Like, I really feel like the... I make a lot of assumptions about how the matchmaking works, and it could all just be, like, perceptions, but... I do find... Man, you know, if I if I only had one win, I think it would definitely be trying to find, like, the weakest-ass opponent it could. I'm hoping that it's trying to find me someone else who has sort of two wins, two losses, but... I don't know how hard it tries. The longer it goes, of course, the more other stuff is going to find. Another paladin. He almost certainly has better stuff than I do. Because I always get screwed on those. 
Wow. I want to keep this. I feel like I have a lot of weenies and not a lot of... Like, Shilwin Yeti is the perfect fourth turn sort of play. Plus, I have the coin, so maybe sooner. I feel like the thing to do is try and draw more weenies, because I still failed to draw weenies. I've got another chance before my turn. No! This is a slow-ass hand for this deck, and if I coin out a... Th Three cost guy, it's just gonna be this piece of crap. From the grave. Um get that back. No, you know what? It might actually be worth shrinking him. Cause my start is so bad I gotta waste it, but uh I do have an, another one of him. I think that my start is so bad that I need to use that very powerful effect to hose that not-so-powerful card to keep me in the running here. Hopefully that would let him kill that thing and survive. Even if he inspires, it's not going to do anything because there's only a hit point. Here. If he played something big, then I could actually Seal of Champions my guy and crush it. I don't know how he would play something big in, under this circumstance. Let me think. That may have been, uh, like, overkill, but he definitely seems displeased with what happened. So, yay! Is he going to play a card before time runs out? Or did he walk away from his keyboard after play after I shrank his guy? That is weird. It's probably like having an internet problem or something. I don't know. Bubble Boy? I don't need Bubble Boy right now, but if I kill him, then I have a clear board for Wind Fury here. And my opponent's on a short timer, if he is still there. Looks like I might just have a concession. Apparently it's surrender time. I don't think that he's genuinely like playing and couldn't do anything this like that last turn with four man. There's no way. So exciting viewing material here. No, he is still there consecrating. That's like his whole turn though, like what the hell is he still there? still there. I could play a couple guys. I think I'm just going to play the Spiteful Smith, because he's big and will survive. I would get a lot more damage on him, a little bit more damage on the table if I played these two. I mean, I could even bubble him, because he's doing four, but I don't... Oh, I could bubble him and Seal of Champions him. Hit for ten, fourteen. my opponent would be at nine, and he'd have a bubble on him. Be very vulnerable to stuff, but like silences or Let me other like see. spell effects. But that would be pretty rough. Let's uh, let's go for the kill. Not Obviously, going for the not this turn kill, but like the die kill. I forgot the Seal of Champions came with its own bubble, so I totally wasted this guy. I should have actually played the Trog. Just got so like, what is going on? But yeah, that was. Ingeniously stupid. He has a second Consecrate. Like he's still seriously there, but does he have a way to do one damage to this guy? I can humilitize him, but that's his whole turn. The extra bubble was dumb, but he's still in severe trouble because I just need to hit him for one more damage and then I can finish him with Consecrate. Also, now that he's played two Consecrates, let's see if he has another one. If he does, it will kill basically my whole army, except the Trog will be up to three attack. So, does he have a devious master plan that he was, like, trying to lull me into a false sense of security? Or I'm pretty sure he's just dead. That was weird. I 
mean, I could use the win and all. My my run is at least going to break even now, but uh, well, let's see how many more of my opponents will like time out and let me win next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button, and don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.